Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces with some tips on the electrical requirements for electric fireplaces. So all electric fireplaces, with very few exceptions, have a heater in them. It's built into the fireplace. You don't have to use the heater to have the flames on, but there is a heater there. So the gold standard for an electric fireplace is to have a dedicated circuit. So that means that the fireplace is on its own circuit breaker. If you were to flip the circuit breaker on your panel, on your electrical panel, only the fireplace would go off or on. So that's number one. And then some electric fireplaces can plug in, most can plug in, and they, you build a hole for the fireplace, you slide the fireplace into the hole, and if you needed to, you could remove a couple of screws and slide the fireplace back out again, even after the wall is finished. Those fireplaces can stay on the plug because the receptacle where they plug in is accessible and most electrical codes, building codes, would allow those to stay on a plug. If the fireplace is built in, so this is a fireplace that we're installing in our showroom, and ultimately the stone is going to come right over the top of this fireplace and it will be built in. So I will not be able to remove this fireplace from the wall without breaking that stone. This fireplace cannot stay on a plug. It must be direct wired or hardwired. And that's because the receptacle where it is, it, or it would be plugged in, would not be accessible should there be an electrical fault at some point. So this by code must be hardwired. It cannot stay on the plug. Often these fireplaces will come with a cord and a plug. That's for testing and at the early stages you can have that. But as you get to the point of installing and finishing the wall, that cord has to come off. And then let's talk about voltage. All electric fireplaces can connect to 120 volts. So that's the normal household current that you have in all of your receptacles and, and wiring throughout the house. Some fireplaces can also connect to 240 volts. That by default is a hardwire connection. They don't stay on the plug. You would hardwire those units. The reason to go 240 volts instead of 120 would be to have more power for the heater. And if you have a bigger area or a very cool area and your fireplace can connect to 240 volts, then you might choose to wire it for 240 volts. You don't buy a different fireplace. The fireplace is the same model, but it's what we call dual voltage. You can wire it for 120 or 240. You make that decision when you're running the wire and then it will be that way once it's installed. So those are some basics in terms of electrical requirements. Please remember that a dedicated circuit is not the same as the fireplace being on its own outlet. Sometimes people will say, uh, will ask if it has a dedicated circuit and they'll say, well, it's on its own outlet. Usually in a room, the outlets are in a series. So if there's one outlet, there's usually, you know, five, six, who, depending on when your house was wired, there are multiple outlets on a single, circuit breaker and maybe some of the overhead lighting, etc. So if you were to flip the circuit breaker, it's not just that one outlet that would go off. It would be several things that would go off in the room. That's not a dedicated circuit. It may be its own outlet, but it's not a dedicated circuit. And we always recommend that you consult and work with a licensed electrician when you're doing electrical. We are not licensed electricians. We speak from the manual and the specifications of the fireplace. And we always recommend that electrical is not a DIY project, that you should be consulting a licensed electrician and going through the specifications with them. You can find more details like this at stylishfireplaces.ca. Always go to the owner's manual for this information. And if in doubt, contact us through the chat, through email or by phone or come on into our showroom in person.